Hey everybody, welcome to part five of the Time Attack Blueprint tutorial. Uh, in the last video, we created the save game object, uh, which will hold our best times for uh, the best overall time and the best lap in minutes and seconds. Uh, that's about as far as we got with our save game. So if you're jumping into this uh, tutorial series midway through just to learn about save games, uh, you can follow along. Uh, by creating a save game object and adding uh, whatever variables it is you want to save inside uh, your save game object. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, start building our save game. Uh, there are a number of ways you could do this. Uh, you can use the game mode to save uh, uh, your variables to. Uh, the way I prefer to do it, this is my personal preference. Um, I like to just create an actor and drag that in my level. And then in each level, um, I can just plop that actor in my level and not have to worry about updating game modes if they switch. Or uh, I think some other tutorials do it to the level blueprint, uh, having to do that each time in the level blueprint. So we're just going to create a blueprint, brand new blueprint, uh, call it an actor. And we're going to call it uh, BP underscore save game actor. Hit enter, and we're going to open it up uh, on the components tab. I'm going to add an arrow. This will just allow me to make sure I see it uh, when I place it inside my level. I'm just going to save it real quick. And before I forget, I'm going to place it into my level right now. <laughs> so now the save game actor is in my level. And you'll see why in a moment why I like doing it this way. Okay, go back to our save game actor and on the graph tab, uh, we want to add some variables. We're going to add uh, a couple ints. So let's add an int. I'm going to call this uh, D for default best time sec. This is going to be uh, the, why is that a capital I? And I can't change it now, can I? Oh. Anyway, uh, we're gonna. Uh, this will be our best time, the default time for our, uh, our best time in seconds. We're gonna do the same thing. Create another int. The best time. Oh my gosh! Stop with capitalize. Time min. Uh, create another variable. The best lap uh, seconds. Another variable. The best lap minutes. Uh, we're going to create one more variable, and this one's going to be a save game object. So we're going to go down to variable type, type in save game. And we want the actual save game object. Uh, we don't want these two blueprints up here, so we're going to choose save game. And then we're going to call this uh, uh, bp underscore save uh, game. That's fine. File, save. Now that I've compiled and saved, uh, I'm going to set some default values for these. Uh, the best time in seconds. Uh, I think I'll just leave that at zero and set the best time in minutes to two. So it's two minutes is our best time. Uh, our best lap, we'll set it to uh, 45 seconds. And then we'll also set the best minimum. Uh, we'll leave that alone, actually. We'll make it zero. So it's yeah, zero and 45 seconds. Now I'm going to make these edit editable. Uh, within the editor, if I compile again, uh, inside the editor now, when I select my save game actor, you see I can reset. I can set these to whatever I want now uh, if I want to change what my best times are going to be, the default value. So it's just a lot easier to set it there. OK, back in the save game actor blueprint, uh, we're going to uh, start with an event begin play. So right click, event begin play. And we want to enable input. Enable input in this blueprint. And I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, let's right click uh, player controller. Now we want to enable input in this blueprint because we want to allow the player to reset uh, these times if they want from within this blueprint. So uh, by enabling input, uh, the player can press a button and reset their time. So we're going to do that real quick. Uh, let's just scroll down, right click. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the letter R to reset. You can use whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to use R because it's easy for reset. 
And uh, what I want to do now is right click, get player controller, and then get HUD. And off of our HUD, we want to cast that to our blueprint, my HUD. And what I'm doing here, I'm going to drag off of this and get our race start variable that's in our HUD and see if the race has started. Because I want to say, if the race has started, then don't allow the player to reset the times while the race is ongoing. We're only going to allow this if the race hasn't started. So let's hold B uh, and click uh, for a branch. So if the race hasn't started, we're going to allow the player to uh, reset their times. <clears throat> and that's all we need for this right now. We'll come back to this in a second. Uh, I'll highlight all this and press C to add a comment. If the race hasn't started, allow uh, the player to reset times. OK. So let's go back uh, up here off of our enable input. <clears throat> what we first need to do is check and see if a save game exists. So we're going to right click, type in does save game exist. Hook that up. And we need to enter a slot name. Now, the slot name uh, is created when you uh, first create a save game or load it. Um, and we're going to uh, use the same one throughout this project. So just to make things simple, I'm going to type in save game slot. Hit enter, and then we're going to hold B, branch, and we're going to hook these up like so. <clears throat> now we'll start on the uh, false portion of it first. So does a save game exist? Doesn't, so we need to create one. So drag off the false, create a save game object. And in this drop down here, we're going to choose our save game object, which has our four ints in it. So we're going to pick that. And once we've done that, we're going to Alt and drag our uh, variable here in and set that to this. So it creates a save game object and sets it to our variable here. OK, now we want to uh, grab this variable, so Control to get it. And we want to drag off this cast to our save game file, actor, object. <laughs> uh, let's plug this in. <clears throat> and inside of our save game, we have some four, we have four variables in there. Those are our saved best uh, lap min. So we want to set that, because we're going to set that to our default value. So set best lap min and s best lap sec. Probably could have had better naming conventions, but this works for me. Uh, save best time min and save best time sec. So we're going to plug all these in like so. And we need to drag in our default values and assign these to these save slots. So we'll grab our uh, lap min, put it under there. Our lap second, put it under there. Time min, plug it under there. And time sec, plug it under there. Then we're going to hook them all up. Like so. And now that we have them all hooked up, we need to actually save the game to the slot. So we're going to right click, <coughs> save game to slot. And we're going to plug that in there. And for the save game object, we're actually going to use our variable that was created and plug that in like that. There. And our slot name is the same one that we assigned back here, which is save game slot. So we're going to call that save, uh, save game slot. And once we've saved <coughs> our game, uh, we need to 
uh, update our HUD. So if the player presses R to reset the times, we need to tell our HUD to update as well. So we're going to do that real quick before we forget. So right click, get player controller, get HUD, and then cast that, cast to my HUD. And what we want to do is drag off here and set the HUD's best uh, lap in. And set the HUD's best lap second. Set our HUD best uh, time min. We want to set it, not get it. And then also I'll head best time seconds. Set it. So let's hook all of these up. Like so. And then we're gonna grab our default values over here and just copy and paste those. Of course I didn't do it in the same order, but I can move them around. Did I? No, I did. Good job. So we have lap min, lap seconds, time min, and time seconds. And that's what we want to update our HUD with is the default values. So we're going to plug these in. I'm just going to move them under this so it's a little bit cleaner. <clears throat> and then I'm going to create a comment around these so I remember what this is. Press C. Updates the HUD with the default values. Let's compile and save. <clears throat> okay, so we have uh, what happens if we don't have a save game. So we need to now do what happens if we do have a save game. We need to load it. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to right click and choose load game from slot. Plug that in. And our slot name, again, is right there, save game slot. If I went too fast, it's right there. So save game slot. And we want to grab our object, Alt, and drag it in. Plug that in, like so. And then we want to, let's move this up a little bit. Ah, that's going to drive me crazy. Where is this plugged in? Right there. OK. We're going to grab our save game object, which is being set here. And we want to, again, do the same thing, cast to BP save game. And let's plug that in. <clears throat> and then we want to uh, do what with this object? We're going to get the best times from our save game and uh, pass them to our HUD. So we need to uh, get player controller, drag off, get HUD, and then cast to my HUD. OK, plug that in like that. I'm going to move these up just a little bit. I'm going to cheat. Since we did this down here, I'm going to copy my best, all these best uh, lap seconds, time seconds and minutes. I'm going to copy all those and I'm just going to paste them up here like so. I'm going to have to rehook all of these up. I'm going to create a little bit more room for me here. Let's just move this up just a little bit. OK, now we need to, uh, from our save game, get the uh, save best time min. So we want to get that. I'm going to push it up here so it's out of the way. We want to get the best time second. So let's get our, not set, get our best time second. Ah, let's move that up there. 
then let's get our best best lap min and get our best lap sec. And let's plug all those in here. So we have best time min. It's going to be displayed on our. Ah, nope. Let's not do that. That's lap. Sorry. Our best lap min goes to our HUD best lap min, and then our best lap second. We're going to go to our HUD best lap second. Do the same for time. So we're going to grab our best time min and our best uh, time second, and plug that in as well. I'm going to create. Uh, comment around all of this and say uh, loads the best times and pass them to the HUD. Put that out of the way. Okay. Let's uh, just for consistency also add a comment around this. This says resets uh, the best times to default. <clears throat> okay, um, I think there's one more thing that we need to do in here. Uh, we've chosen our save game, we've created it, and we can load it and reset it if we need to. Uh, there's one more thing we need to do. Let's go back down here where we have our uh, button to reset our HUD. Uh, what we need to do is, let's just move this up, <coughs> right click and add a do once. And we're going to go off the false on this. And we're going to plug this into our create save game object. So if the race hasn't started, uh, I'm going to be able to press R, the race hasn't started. so. Oh, the race has started, I'm sorry, uh, so we can't do it. If the race hasn't started, then we can create a save game object over our save game slot here and reset our times. <coughs> so I'm going to compile, save, go back to our game here, and let's click play and hopefully this works. Yeah, so you can see we have our best time, we have our best lap, uh, let's see, we can drive through. We haven't had any logic put in to determine what our best times are yet. Uh, and that's something we're going to do in the next video. Uh, we still need to set up our uh, uh, lap record check function and then also um, check when all three laps are completed. What do we do at that point? And how do we check if we've beat, beaten our best time? So uh, we'll do that in the next video. Uh, hope you guys uh, tune in. Hope you enjoy it.